Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Ghost Trick. Let's continue. I went to try to rescue prisoner D99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison is a strange atmosphere. But this time, there's something even stranger about it. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. But even I can sense the strong feeling of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? Oh man. So, how's it going? With the generator in the basement? They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. I They haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here at all. You promised not to talk about that. Why are you dancing? Look, would you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I might just have to pound you. This, this is a glorious dance. That's been passed down in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. We call it the panic dance. <laughs> I think they've just switched positions, that's what it looks like. This is special detention. Calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch black down here though, until they get the generator going again. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh boy, we can't let the existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? Yeah. Yep, you should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generator is back up, I'll record it with the security camera. Sorry if you guys hear any noises in the background, my dryer's running. Generator, still not up. I can't keep this up much longer. Believe me, no one is asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead then? Me? You're kidding me? Somebody has to do it! If that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. <laughs> well, this is a... Uh, yeah... Despite how it looks, this situation seems pretty serious. Bailey's dancing is, uh, certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. The man said that he was calling from the death chamber, eh? Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. Uh, just give me a sec. Okay, so we can't go anywhere. Okay, I guess that makes sense. That's gonna be an external line, right? Or, I guess that's an internal line. Okay. Is that special detention? This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I feel like a ghost is gonna show up any minute now. <laughs> hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. But who? I never saw that one coming, did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator is going to be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. Generator, eh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. It seems that that's the first thing that has to be done. Okay. So am I going to be restoring a generator? I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. 
Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Sure. Let's see, uh... Sorry. Sorry about all the noise in the background, too. What does lowering the lever do? I think that started some water droplets. Unless... Yeah, unless that didn't do that and the water droplets just happened to come at the same time. I think it just operated some kind of lever. But nothing happened. It's too dark to really tell, though. I'm sure it did something important. Power supply. What does manipulating that do? Oh, let's talk to you first. Oh, jeez. Where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. So let's manipulate. This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Hmm, but it doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to really tell, though. I guess the first thing I need to do is restore that generator. I could examine the wrench. This is definitely a wrench. I've seen these things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn, it's too heavy. It won't budge. Maybe we can find some other way to alert him of that. Turn off the emergency light. I can't see. That helped. Hey, look, a dead person. Was this the guy digging in the tunnel? I feel like it is. Are you dead? The big guy seems to be taking a nap here. Okay, he's not dead. I doubt my paltry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. Hmm, it's kind of spooky when a ghost says it. Spooky. Woo! Okay, well, where else can I go? I can't do anything with the spoon. Can't go anywhere from here but back down. So the only things I can do in here is manipulate the power supply and examine the wrench. Yeah, we, are, we already know how wrenches work. And we can't reach any farther into the room. Manipulating the power supply doesn't help. What about lowering the lever? Did that do anything? No, that didn't do anything over here. Oh wait! Oh, there's a drop! So now I'm in the bucket, okay. Open toolbox? You mean you didn't even try to look, like, behind you, maybe? Just to see if maybe it was back there? Okay. You think the guy working on the emergency generator might have a flashlight? I don't know. Okay. Woo, we did it. That's how generators work, alright. Wait, you mean your your security system is set to open up with a lack of power or to not, I guess, to not close? You should have those weighted so that with a loss of power, they would shut. You think that would be a far smarter decision, don't you? I don't know. That's what me thinks. Now the lights are back on. But what happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. I better see if I can pick up some more information. I can't seem to shake this bad feeling I've got. probably yeah here we go grounding spear sure whatever so is he gonna do anything now no I think he's still sleeping okay I'm sure we could get him in trouble somehow right, so let's manipulate the power supply this appears to be a control panel give it a try
some lamps came on. Not sure what it means. Maybe that changed the situation, though. Let's go see what they were doing in the other room. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country is the death penalty. But how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. I bet that's what happened. All that debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. Don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know? Oh, is that... Yep, there's our friend. Inspector Jowd. I guess I was too late. If only I had the ability to, uh... To go back in time and possibly stop the death. So when are they going to pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So Detective Jowd has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay, this isn't a big problem for me. But if the body is taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. There's no phones in the cemetery. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's going to blow up again? Or let loose with the juice? Yikes, shut up, man. Accidents can happen with anything after all. But let's just get this thing fixed, come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm going to come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why me? Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm, a chair that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? I think I know what's going to be happening. Let's find out. So what does the lever do? <laughs> Dang it. I just got a shock. Oh, I thought we were going to kill him and then use and then go back in time with him and use that to save Jown. Which I was thinking was a little dark, like a little bit too dark for this game, so I didn't quite think we would murder somebody in order to save somebody else. Okay. Can go in the bucket, that doesn't help much. Hopefully he fixes something a little bit higher up. Can you fix something any any higher up, please? Do we have to jump in the water droplet mid drop? Wow. Look at that. That's pretty good. Alright, let's rock the headpiece. Whoa, spooky ghost thing. Son of a... Oh, well, throw that over there. Probably not important or anything. Let's rock the cart. Well, actually, I think that did help. We've got another internal line, I guess. Same thing here. It looks like this is just an internal phone, too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are... Other phones in the building I've already possessed. Yeah, I got it. Alright, Jow. I'm going to save you. Hey, can you hear me? Where am I? This is the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll just give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, uh, so I'm, I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash? Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? 
and things I don't need are just trash. Not to me. I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn I'd try to stop your execution. Lynn? Hmm. It looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. I remember now. About Lin, Jowd, and the execution. And what about you? Who are you? I'm Cecil. I'm looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Cecil. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry. It must have not been a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. Let's go. This is the past, four minutes before my death? That's right. You get to see your own execution. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And then we're going to change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she? About what I did. Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. But Lynn believes it is. Okay, let's get started. Yum, 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 yum. So yummy, I love chicken. Quick, play guitar like normal. It's clogged! Oh no! Don't mind me, officer, I'm just kicking this toilet. Suck it, toilet. I'm in position. Stupid toilets and their clogs. So that's why I guess the guy fell asleep down there. Sort of. Oh, that was yummy. Wow. What a litter bug. <laughs> Stupid toilet me. Prisoner, why are you kicking your toilet? So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah. Wonder how many years it's been. The last time, you weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution. But you know... I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, alright. Is it necessary to march down the stairs? Prisoner D99, it's time. L let's go! Let's-a go! Alright, men. I'm ready. Sorry to have you go through this unpleasant experience. What? N no, we, uh... Oh well, I guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and me. And this'll be the last experience you ever experience. <laughs> Prepare to test. Throw the switch. Well, I guess for all intents and purposes, he was executed. So, this is an execution, huh? It seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. Ha ha ha. Must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you, I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. That was an example of a failed execution. Although, the outcome was the same. Failed? They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs, and I guess it had a short. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion, 
Hmm, I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned and I'd still wind up just as dead. So what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me, you figure it out. What a jerk, he's not making this easy. So we have to somehow prevent the explosion from happening and probably prevent any other kind of death from happening. Hold on, let's see. Alright, then four minutes from now, this chair will short out and explode and you'll die. Very sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to this whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? Ha ha ha. I'm a weirdo. How is it going down there? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. I see. It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. But, but that chair! It hasn't been used in a long time. What if... Bailey. There's nothing we can do now. It's time. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to send out some sort of, like, inspector to check these things. Like, you know, make sure that this thing is safe to operate instead of having a bunch of people from the prison operate it. But it is a special prison. So maybe that's why. Alright, I'll send the guards to a cell. I'll have them call when they get into position. I don't know if I want to go there. I guess we'll go there. Usually go there is the right option. I have the strange feeling of unease. How about you? How do you feel? I feel jumpy and jittery. I, I can't sit still. I feel like I might start dancing at any minute. If you're gonna dance, let me know. I'll get the video camera ready. Nobody will listen to my concerns. Concerns, huh? So he's worried. That man is always worried about something. And whatever he's worried about, it will always come true without fail. Is this man a ghost? Listen to me, that chair is dangerous! I know, Bailey. That's why I don't advise you to sit on it. If the very purpose of the chair is to be extremely dangerous and kill somebody. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Machines like that are very sensitive to dust. If the guy throws the switch and the chair shorts out, there might be a huge explosion down there in that death chamber and it might kill everyone except... It might kill nobody except for the guy that needs to be executed. Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen. Besides, even on the off chance it does blow up, we're way up here. We'll be fine. I know. Why don't we go test it out first? No way. I don't want to get blown up. You go by yourself. So this spot would be safe even if it does blow up, eh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. If the switch in the death chamber is thrown, the chair will blow up. That's right. And if the chair blows up, the execution can't be carried out. Well, I'm sure they could find another way if they really wanted to, but sure, we'll go with that reasoning. It only stands to reason. And... If there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes, nobody will die. That's another option, I suppose. Precisely! Very nice, Cecil. You've hit upon some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. So basically, we just have to get everybody out of the death chamber room. And I think... Oop, hold on. So no use, I can't use the phone lines. Oh, okay, right now? I can only move over the phone lines in the past when it's in use. Sadly, this applies to the internal extensions as well. I see. Looks like life is tough for everyone. Even you. You too. Getting the chair to short out when nobody's around it. It sounds like it could be a plan. But in this past world, I can't just use the phone lines whenever I want. And these guards seem to be in a fog. I doubt they'll be using the phone for much. Hmm. Maybe I need to start over? 
Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no. And nothing. I just, I just want to see what happens on their faces. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just writing stuff down. <laughs> nope, nothing happened. <laughs> no one died. Now I'm stuck here. I'm just sorry I didn't get to see Bailey's famous dancing. Getting the chair to short out when nobody's around it. The plan is starting to solidify in my mind, but I'd better find a, a different path next time. Alright, yeah, so we'll do that. But I think that's going to be the it for us today. The it? That's going to be it for us today. So, yeah. I'll be, I'll be done right about here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and next time we'll try another route, I guess. I guess going up there probably doesn't help us much, so maybe we need to stay down here and try to do something. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!